Hey, welcome back to another verbal reasoning video. My name's Hayden. Today, we've got a pretty cool question type, a six word grid, it's relatively new. It's not been around that long. Let me show you how it works. Very simply, you have got six words in a grid. One of them is missing and you have to work out what the link is between these words and use that to then solve the missing word. Now, the cool thing about these questions is the link between the words can kind of come in one of one of two ways. Either you can look horizontally across the grid and think, right, the three words going across have some sort of link. Or you can look vertically and think, right, the two words, the pairs of words have some sort of link. Now, in this case, it's very obvious. Just looking at the words and reading them out loud, you can see that the link is in the pairs. We have got words that are homophones in this case. Plain and plain, tail and tail. They are words that sound the same, but are spelled differently, have different meanings. So of course the answer to this one, what other word here says male, not mayo, or not mayor, or not nail, or female. They're all very close. But of course the only word that is actually exactly the same as the word male is B, which is also says male, it's just spelled differently. But this is not the only link. It's not always gonna be as simple as just a couple of homophones. You know, that'd be way too easy. The link really can be anything. Maybe it's synonyms, words that mean the same. Maybe it's antonyms. It could even be a category. It's just words that are within the same category and you have to go, oh, they're all animals. Oh, they're all colors, that sort of thing. But there's loads more and I'm gonna show you them as we go through this video. So do stick around all the way till the end. Of course, right at the end, I'll be giving you a question to solve in the comments as well. So there's the first one. We've got pairs of words here, homophones, nice and simple, straightforward one to get started with. Why don't you have a look at this one? What do you think is going on here? If you read these words, is the link going across? Is it going in pairs? And what is the link? Okay, apple, tree, nut, something, bark, shell. The link this time is still going in pairs. Look, if we think about it, right, let's start from the right-hand side because we don't have the left one yet. Nut and shell, tree and bark. When I read both, I start to go, ah, yeah, okay, right. Bark is very obviously something that's like on the tree. And the shell is kind of on, or let's maybe update what we're saying here. It's It encases the nut, right? It goes around it. It's on the outside in the same way that bark kind of goes around the outside of the tree. This makes sense. It's like the outer part of that thing. So if the top one in our missing pair is an apple, and we've got tree and nut, and the word below it is the kind of thing encasing it, the outside. What do we call the outside of an apple? Do we say, ah, here's my apple shell? I don't think we do that. Here's my apple bark. You don't peel the apple bark off, do you? You peel off the apple skin. We call it a skin. So we're looking for C, skin, as our answer of this one. A bit different to the last ones. It wasn't homophones, was it? It was more like a category here. It was, it was just something relating to another word in a particular way. The, the options really are endless for this question type. That's why I love it so much. Let's have a look at another one. Uh, again, take your time. A little bit different to the last two. What's going on? Aha, so we've got our first example of the three, right? Going across horizontally. This time, the link is not between the pairs above each other. Arms and fork, legs and knife, they're not really linked in any sort of way. We can't use that to help us. However, if we look at the bottom complete row that we have here, we've got fork, knife, cutlery. Now, my first thought there is, ah, cutlery is kind of describing fork and knife, right? Fork and knife, forks and knives are examples of cutlery. So what's happening here is we've got the sort of category at the end of cutlery, and then we've got two examples of things that fit within that category on the left. That's really cool. So if we look at our top one, we've got arms and legs. So if these are the two things that fit into the category, what is the category? What would you say arms and legs are? Like forks and knives are cutlery. Arms and legs are what? Are they feet? That doesn't make any sense. Are they body? They, they're on your body. Does that work? Are forks and knives part of a wider thing called cutlery? Is cutlery like an object and you pull off a knife from it? You put, I don't think so. That doesn't quite make sense. Arms and legs, clothes, I wouldn't say that's the category. Limbs, of course. Arms and legs are examples of the category limbs. Okay, so that is our answer. The trick answer there is definitely body. It's a really good one. And hair, you know, I mean, I'm not really sure that should be in the question when I'm reading it. Not actually, you know, I don't really have much of that. So let's move swiftly on. Guys, parents, listen up. If you're liking this video, firstly, I'm going to duck down. 
check out this QR code right here. You can scan it, it'll take you straight to our website or you can check out the link in the description where we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of premium lessons just like this to cover everything across maths, English, verbal reasoning, no verbal reasoning in year four, in year five, and we even have some SAT stuff in year six as well if that interests you. But check it out. Most of these questions today have come from this sheet right here, our verbal reasoning summer week 10 homework sheet. There is a lesson video that goes with it. And with every single lesson, not only do you get the, the homework sheet, I'm keep pointing in the wrong direction, the homework sheet, you get the answers and also a walkthrough video of the homework sheet as well. So there's everything is covered, all bases are covered. And uh, yeah, go and check it out, make an account. You can get some free stuff to start with. Let's have a look at another question. Text, steer, call, blank, phone, car. Did I read it in the right direction? Who knows? Have a go. Okay, I threw you off there a little bit, didn't I? I read it in pairs. But actually, once again, the link is going across. It's going across. There's something about the row of words that makes sense. Text and steer don't go together. Phone and car don't go together. It's this, text call and phone. So just like that last one, I really like these types of questions, these category ones, because I feel like they are generally the hardest to spot and like sort of understand. If you have a phone, what can you do with it? You can text and you can call. Ah, okay, cool, cool. So I could, let's try and put it into a sentence. This is the best way to do it because then you can really make sure you're getting the right link below. I can text my with my phone or I can text the phone. I can call a phone or I can call with my phone. So those two sentences are gonna help us. I can steer a car. Okay, so it's kind of like what you what can you do with the thing on the right hand side? So what's another thing you can do with a car? Accelerate, wheel, seat, push or brake. Now a lot of people would go, right, these ones don't really make sense. You, you don't wheel a car, you don't seat a car, you don't push a car, you don't, you, it's just not something you do, is it? But you do accelerate and you do brake. Now look at the trick. Can you spot my trick? Of course you can. That says brake as in like smash something. That does not mean the same as break as this one, because that would give us two good answers. So the homophone was in there to throw you off. What you can do with a car is accelerate. That's what we do all the time. Every time we put our foot down on the acceleration pedal, the car accelerates, which means it gets quicker. So yeah, accelerate goes here because that's something else you can do with a car. You know, it really is as, as, as uh, straightforward as that. Cool questions though, aren't they? Let's have a go at one more, and then I'm gonna leave one for you to have a go in the comments. So here we go. I'm not even gonna read it to you this time. Pause the video, have a go. Did you spot what's going on? This was a synonym question. So synonyms are where words mean the same thing. So if we look, we're back to the old pairs. Amusing and funny, they mean the same thing. Fast and quick, they mean the same thing. So we need something that means joyful. If you are joyful, it simply means you are full of joy and joy is another word for happiness. So if we look through these, it doesn't mean to be silly. You might be joyful at a party, but it doesn't mean party. It doesn't really mean neat. Me neat can mean cool, but you know, that's not really what it means. Happy is exactly what it means. Disappointed is, is, is almost the opposite. So in this case, we've got synonyms. And another really common question type you see in these is antonyms, words that mean the opposite as well. So if you check out our resources on our website, you will see even more examples of these questions, including some antonyms, some more synonyms, some more categories, and all sorts of stuff, guys. It's been a pleasure. I'm gonna leave you with this one. Dog, cat, horse, penguin, human, something. Now I wrote this one. This doesn't come from our worksheet. I wrote this one especially for you on this YouTube video. Um, hence it being a little bit silly. I'd say our, our resources, our premium resources are probably a little bit more serious than this. I've been a little bit silly. Um, but yes, have a go, leave a comment, like, subscribe, make sure to share this video with other people. It really helps us out, helps the channel grow. And the more the channel grows, the more we want to make videos for you guys. So uh, yeah, go and check out the resources, parents. Use the link in the description. See you next time.